Hey guys, cool blind way back. I'm Rick. Shane. Eric. Aaron. Hunter. Hunter. Yes. We're back. We are. Not all of us. Calvin is off this week, so we will make sure that he catches. He's dead. Up next time. He's off every week. Kilowa. He's back. He is. He's well, they're not, they're not. They haven't met up yet. Not yeah. Yet. Not yet. But he's going to go. His, he's go going to the friend. the butler place. Yes. To see them. Butlers. Um, the one the girl did not die. Yep. The uh, the dad is nicely crazy. <laughs> He's, He's a little crazy. <laughs> and then the mom is still a robot. He's got a plan. He's a man with a plan. He made him, He's uh, definitely dangerous. He made him form a blood pact not to betray his friends. That's true. And then counted on him betraying yeah, his friends. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, I'm super excited. I want our crew back together. Me Very too. Excited. Yes. Let's get him. Let's right right now. And if you want to see us get that crew back together... I don't know if that transition works. You guys get down in the description, find the link, watch the link, come back here for the review, okay? That's how we do it. I wonder if we'll have like little standalone episodes, like we'll see some of their adventures training and then we'll go to uh, like Leario, you know, studying to be a doctor. I would love to see an anime ER house, like medical drama. That would be good. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. An anime ER yeah. house, kind of, okay. Wouldn't that be great? I don't know. I thought we were getting a couple episodes of just adventures with those four. I just love these happen. guys going to adventures. Yeah. That's why I love like the Pokemon show so much, you know? That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought they were going to have to fight all the family members. Nope. Well, no, the, the father already said about moving on. I mean, like, when we got to the beginning of that arc. Oh. I thought, okay. like, they were going to have to fight all the family members, and then they couldn't even get past the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were going to be here for, like like, a month. Or a couple months. I get you. <sighs> Speaking in months. Six so months. Six months until we go to York New City. It September sounds so 1st. right the way they say it. York, York New no. City. Yeah. The world's largest auction. Mm hmm Greatest mass of wealth. Yeah. And the Phantom Troop might be there, which is... Yeah. Karapika would definitely mm -hmm. want to go there. Okay. Yeah. And he wants to get a patron for his hunting so he can get a bunch of money so he can participate yeah. in the auction. Yeah. Now, when Leorio said, like, I'll use this, like, did he, he didn't imply he's going to sell this, right? I don't to get money so. to... No, I think he's talking about using the the hunter, like, being a hunter. Yeah. To help take care of expenses that he would acquire or accrue. Yeah. Because he shouldn't be able to get the doctorate first and then pay for it after, right? Because it, if he can show that, that's like a line of credit, basically. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, Karapika, the Karapika, whatever, can't... They don't have the money to be able to do the auction, mm -hmm. but if if they went somewhere, yeah. they could get a discount or get it for free. So I think it's a difference of like Leorio's like, well, I can go and learn and do this, and this hunter license will absolve me of sure. whatever the cost would be for it. Right, or he can make the money. Yeah, but he can't. The, the other guy can't just go and start auction, start bidding on an auction with money he doesn't actually have. Well, can he just go up and seven hundred and take it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Hook us up. Other people, maybe they have hunter bodyguards guarding it, security. Okay. Maybe they're hunter hunters. There are. There's the, the black, what was the, uh, it was black something, right? What they call themselves? Uh, the, the Phantom Troop? No, there, there's something, there was something they said before about hunters. Yeah, where it's like, black something hunter. They're, they're, oh, like, they're yeah. like bounty hunters for other hunters like that are bad or, or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, there was something they made. They were like before. assassins, right? I, it sounded like, well, if you have a hunter who decides yeah, to Yeah, blacklist do, hunter. See? Yeah. Yeah. So, there's so, something about the hunters that are bad and stuff, yeah, and then so people stopping those. If a hunter misbehaves too much, they get on the blacklist. Yeah. So, that implies there are rules <laughs> to being there's a hunter. I don't know if there are. There's probably some... Well, it's kind of like, you know, if you get your, your bar exam, right? You take the test, yeah. but that has nothing to do with your character. Like, you can lose it yeah. by being a bad character and using bad ethics. True. Mm -hmm. But you just need to know what the right ethics are. It has nothing to do with your philosophy. Yeah, the, the ethics would be interesting because, like, Hisoka said that he got this so he could kill people. Which is what you figured he'd be, he would have been weeded out somehow. To as long as they're evil people. But that's not what the, the hunter is being about. I know, but some, some, of, the, some of the earlier tests to get there but maybe were he about can, character. Maybe he can find... Like, if he just found someone that was bad and killed them, it maybe would be bad for him. But if he's a hunter doing it, it gives him mm -hmm. more legality of it or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a being a bounty hunter. Kind of, yeah. 
Like, now nah, I can go kill these people. And it doesn't matter. He has a license to kill. Kind of, maybe. What do you think about, like, Khan's you like, his idea that I will not use my hunter license until I can punch that guy in the it's face? Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's honorable. It's, he's bullheaded. He is. He gets really bullheaded. I mean, you could use your hunter's license to find ways to... Do a buffet. Of- well, he, yeah, I mean, he, I'm sure he can. I don't have any money. I'm he not can using use, this. He can, use mean, it, he can use it to help him, like, to help him train. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I get what he's going for there, though. He's like, if it wasn't for that moment, I wouldn't have gotten my hunter's license. So I'm not strong enough to have gotten my hunter's license. So until I can prove to myself that I'm strong enough to have gotten it by myself, I'm not going to use it. Yeah. yeah I, I, I get it. Like, if he wasn't using it to help his friends, I think that's a dick move. Mm-hmm. But just not using it for himself, for both I think it's okay. I, I get it too. I'm just, yeah. It's a little boy. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I, mean, I agree. I agree. That man just got punched in the face. To he did. The point. He did. Over and over and he over and over. And he yeah. cut his own eye to relieve the swelling. Like Rocky. Yeah. So yeah. Except not his own eye. I don't know. Yeah. I, I can admire that he's, he's like, until he can prove to himself that he's a hunter. I like, I like that idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm good with it. The other guys didn't use tourist visas, right? I don't know. They didn't all use the tourist visa to get there, did they? It looked like they all booked at the same time, though. Like, did, like, uh, Leorio, like, did he use his hunter's license to get there? I mean, that's how they all got there. Like, they they were on the tourist bus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't know. I was like, if they used that, but he used other means to get there, you Mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I like how all these servants, like, like Kilowa. They're not allowed to show it. Yeah. But they still care for him. Uh, Goto or Gutel, whatever his name was, you can tell he cared for him. Yeah. Yeah. I like the coin game and the idea of like having two coins and stuff. Yeah. It reminded me of uh, I think I mentioned before, but like Aladdin, there was a spider and he just didn't have anything under him. Mm-hmm. So Aladdin, in order to like answer the question correctly and not say, "Oh, you're cheating," was he like put his hand on a basket? And like it's under this one. He's yeah. like, "Nope, nope, nope." And then he picked up the other two baskets. And like, well, it's not under those two, so it must be under this one. Sure. Yeah. Because he knew it wasn't under any of them. Yeah. So, but what it's was just a neat idea? What was the point of it though? Of what the coin? Yeah. He was testing. Yeah, yeah testing they were going to kill that, and maybe all of them if they failed, right? But why? I think it was. Uh, I think the overall point he was going for is deception. He's like, don't just trust anybody, because deception's everywhere and people can trick you. I think at first he. I, I think to them and to this family, like judge you judge people, like you, you in totality by how well they could fight and how well, you know what I mean and all those skills. Like so you wanted to make sure he was worthy. Well, yeah. like, like I, I think that's what it was. The butler showing there is that you know the the games. You know here here's the rules. I'm gonna dictate what the rules are. Here they are, but it's not always necessarily gonna be within the guidelines of the rules. Like was that guy behind the couch within the rules supposed to have caught it? Yeah. But then it, by the end of it, too, the last trick he did was the even more deceptive trick. And it's like, sometimes you're, you're playing, you can't win. Yeah. So you got to watch out for what you're doing. So I think it was supposed to be like a, a life lesson to him to make sure that him and Killua are good. So you don't think training. even if they failed, no one was in danger? I don't know. I don't think I so. I mean, he, the way he talked about the mother and then he, like, apologized to Killua well, made was, him seem like he changed his mind, but I don't know. Was the apology because... You know, you're you're not gonna see your friends. Or was the apology was that, yes, I'll bring them right to you when they get here, and that he wasn't gonna bring them right to him when he got there. You know? That's maybe, what I thought. Maybe it was just that, and it wasn't a, a matter of like you're never gonna see your friends again. Sorry, yeah. Mr. sorry, Master Killua. You know, hmm. maybe maybe it was a little less. Uh, I don't know. Mean, insidious. Rude. Yeah. Yeah. In, insidious. That's a word yeah. I want. He really should have let Leorio cut his eye open. What? With a scalpel. Or something. Yeah, uh, it so he a buck knife. <laughs> it, it would, it would, yeah, it would have been a good way to show his more medical skills in his part. Yeah, yeah. I love that queen game. I want a guy to do that to me. Uh, I want him to be that fast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fool! <laughs> yeah. Thanks guys for watching this episode of Hunter Hunter. You can see the next one right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You don't even need amazing reflexes to do it. You, you can see full length over there as well. Check out blindwave.net where we have shirts, informational wavecon where you can hang out with us. Twist.tv slash blindwave as well. Damn it!